the film and shoot me. No way. From the, from the drum. So I'm watching that one pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're here at the Hoop Team Tournament 2015 version. Last year we had a chance to talk to this guy. He, he brought us so much, so much joy and information. We got to talk to him. He's just Hollywood. Tell us Hollywood Henderson, by the way. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Man, I'm still uh, north of South. Yeah. You know, right. I'm 62 years old. Been clean and sober 31 years. I'm living a good life. You know what I mean? I rebound. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> no, not exactly. I ain't got no nose. I ain't got no piercings. Uh, okay, no, that was bad. With Dennis Rodman, you want to bad, take that? Bad, bad metaphor. I take it back. Take that back. I take it. I take it back. All of it. Talk about why you come here, all to support these charities and Fred and what he's doing. Well, Fred's tremendous human being. He's been with him and his wife, his mom and dad. I have a foundation in Austin, Texas it's called the East Side Youth Service and Street Outreach. I would, I've never thrown a golf tournament. My fundraising method is I call rich people or email rich people and say send me money. And I don't cost me nothing. I sit at the computer and do that. I've been doing that for 25 years. I've never thrown a golf tournament. Ever. You'll probably get the same results or better. Huh? Better. No, no overhead. Well, you know, it don't cost nothing to email. You know, let's, let's, so I know some rich people. Let's talk about, I got a couple other questions. Let's talk about when you was on the field. I, I want to ask a question last year, I forgot about it. What was your most challenging guy you played against when you were out there on the gridiron? I really didn't have one. Really? No, I really, well, the, the guy that made my heart beat was Terry Metcalf. Really? Yeah, for, Terry, for the St. Louis Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. had a son later, yeah, Terry yeah. Metcalf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Metcalf made my heart beat. You know, he, we went to play them in 77 or 78. He was leading the league in rushing. He was leading the league in pass reception. He was leading the league in yards. He was leading the league in punt return yards. He was leading the league in kickoff. And then Landry says to me, uh, okay, uh, Nickel, you got him one on one. You got him man to man. You, that make him nervous, though. Oh, he never caught a pass on me. <laughs> I, I could play, but he he made he's made me nervous. I'll try, I'll try to remember a Pittsburgh one game, I think. Can't came out against Franco. 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 Come on. Franco Harris. Franco Harris soft in my book. Really? I played against him many times. Boy, he couldn't block me. You know? He's he been doing that. Couldn't beat me out of a, couldn't beat me on the pass route. I mean, you know, he was fast. He's a Hall of Famer. He was big and fast. Though. I was good. skinny. I was 215. But you was fast, though. I didn't mean to. <laughs> so what, I asked this question last year. I knock your teeth out and, look, and help you look to find her. How does somebody win the lottery twice? I <laughs> how, how did you do it? I uh, bought tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Step win if you ain't in the game. <laughs> Step one. You got a worse or worse one to leave us with the lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there was, there was a nun. And uh, the church needed $100 million to build a new church and a new school for the kids. And she prayed. She went to the church. She said, God, I ain't never asked for nothing. I've been with you 60 years. She said, I need this lottery money. Yeah. The lottery come and go, she don't win. The next week, the lottery is 150 million. She said, God, we can use that money. We can do a sanctuary, school, everything. And uh, she didn't win. She went to God the third time. God stopped her. He said, Sister, do me a favor. We at least buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, but I don't 